Welcome back. Sporting in D.C. look to stay in the playoff hunt. But first, Toronto travels to Chicago hot off their CCL victory. Another match, another draw for Chicago. Now holding the record for ties in a season, the fire were planted at the bottom of the East. Sebastian Grazzini and Marco Papa were bright spots on an otherwise meddling season. Could Frank Klopas inspire his team to just their third victory of the year? Toronto had been struggling in league play, but a victory in CCL and a win over Real Salt Lake last week had the Reds eyeing a resurgent end of the season. With Torsten Frings helping shore up their leaky defense and Ryan Johnson a threat on the attack, Toronto would look to take advantage of a Chicago side that could not close out games. Dan Kelly and Evan Whitfield had all the action from Toyota Park. Ashton Grazzini, the newly minted playmaker for the Fire, has to play an entire 90 minutes. Spreading it out. Paws will serve a floater in. Chested down by Marco Papa. Can't turn it towards goal. Nudges to Niako. Just five foot two is the 19-year-old. And you got the big boys like the goal Milos Kosic and company. Eckersley breaking the drive and it's punched away by Sean Johnson. A lot of times draws are a good thing on the road, but not under these circumstances. As this is Sigaris looking to bring it into the box. Oh, no! Dominic does it! Boom goes the Dominic for the eighth time this season. And this is great, good soccer down the flank. The guys getting into the box. Oduro's down there first. It's a nice little back heel by uh, Niako. And we've talked about Gonzalo Cigaras getting up the field this year. He hasn't been so sharp with it, but he gets a second chance there. Oduro definitely with the outside of the right foot. Now it's Martina on the flank. Johnson into the box, and it's Sean Johnson. It's a really good ball through here. And he does so well to stand his ground. Marco Papa. Nicely ahead, Grazzini holding off, Grazzini the shot, and the save made by Kosic. Two goals and an assist. Four games with the fire for this guy, Sebastian Grazzini, looking for another assist. Marco Papa, follow through, humongous save, Kosic saving the day for Toronto. This team can produce Played some decent soccer lately. De Guzman from outside. Let's it rip off the inside of the post. Rebound Plata, and he brushes that one wide. It's a blast off the near post. See how quick Sean Johnson is to get back to the other side. On the corner. Back post. The old mate comes back to strike Dan Gargan. What a great header by Dan Gargan. Good ball across, perfectly timed. See the power in that header. It's off the bounce. It's that in-curling ball we talked about. Far post. Johnson, the header off the goal post. As Ryan Johnson had beaten Sean Johnson. Back in the middle, Yurasovsky lets it go. Andy Iroh's defensive play leads to this. Header attempt, smashes off the post. Spinning some yarns, and it's been a while since we've seen some relaxed faces. Ten match, winless drought, too many. It's over. Chicago Fire get their first win under interim head coach Frank Klopas at home, and it feels real good tonight in Chicago. Sporting's playoff aspirations seemed lost during their 10-game road trip to open the season. But the men from Kansas City had turned into one of the most consistent teams in MLS since the opening of Livestrong Sporting Park. With so much firepower, it seemed Sporting's attack could come from anywhere. DC was ready to make a move for the playoffs. With Andy Nahar and Chris Pontius leading the charge, it was only a matter of time before the goals started pouring in. And with backup keeper Joe Willis in net, this matchup had all the makings of a classic shootout. Caleb Williams and Jake Yadrich were at Livestrong Sporting Park with the call. Dwayne De Rosario, arguably the greatest duo up top in attacking, not playing tonight. I gotta assume it's to give them rest from the game on Thursday evening, but it's something the Sporting Kansas City defense can take lightly and also need to exploit with the firepower on the bench. Sporting KC. 
are on the attack once again. Here's Myers. Ball played in Kamara! And Myers puts that thing up, looks for the big man, number 23, and Kai Kamara, one of the one of the better headers of the ball in Major League Soccer, is able to get up, contorts it, switches it back. Sesanovic. He plays a superb ball down the left-hand side. Here's Omar Bravo. Whips a rather tasty-looking ball in, headed away towards the edge, and Kai Kamara, thought about the first time shot, gets it off anyway, and absolutely buries it into the bottom corner. It starts here, Omar Bravo with a great ball in. Both players fight, and it's tipped out to Kamara. One touch to the side, whip it around. Thanks for playing. Kai Kamara, his seventh goal of the season, is an absolute beaut. Just look how hard he hits that. Sporting KC then will thank their lucky star. The shot coming in from the left of the penalty area. And Jimmy Nelson once again coming up with the goods. A superb save. He's possessed by Zuzi Quarasa. On the charge again as the ball comes over the top. Ball to the edge. Di Rosario! Zuzi charges forward. Ball thread through. This is Teal Bundari! Kamara. Else would be great. Susi with the drive. Not saved by the goalkeeper. Takes one touch to the side. Gets behind it and lets it loose. Joe Willis, good. Joe Willis, good positioning. Able to parry that over the bar, resulting in another corner kick for Sporting. Gwynn's first touch. Myers bursting forward into fifth gear. Down the right hand side. Myers. A low drive. Great job of Chance Myers by coming up and helping Kai Kamara towards midfield. So with the last chance for DC United, you feel. And it's come all the way through for Jimmy Nelson. And we've had the three minutes of stoppage time. Referee still allowing play to continue. Nelson with the ball forward. And there we have it. What's a win for Sporting KC in their playoff push? The playoff picture is still unclear in the East, with Columbus starting to separate from the pack. The final two automatic spots currently rest with Sporting and Houston. But Philly, New York and DC are all still in the hunt. It's going to take a drastic change in form and a lot of luck for the Fire, Revs and Toronto to salvage the season. Out West, the Galaxy appear unstoppable. Seattle overtook second place, but Dallas and Colorado are hot on the trail. There's still a lot of soccer to be played by RSL, Chivas and the Timbers, while San Jose and Vancouver may look to play spoilers. It was a week where unsung heroes stepped up, causing no change at the top of the Golden Boot race. But as playoff spots begin to dwindle, look for the stars to do what they're paid to do, shine. Next week, the playoff push heats up on television. Saturday sees Vancouver host Houston at 7 p.m. on TSN2 in Canada. Then at 10.30, Real Salt Lake travels to Chivas, with both teams looking to end August on a high. That match is on Fox Soccer. Sunday has a battle of giants as Thierry Henry and Rafa Marquez take on David Beckham, Landon Donovan and Robbie Keane. ESPN2 has the clash at 7 p.m. Finally, the week ends with Philadelphia squaring off with New England on Galavision, also at 7 p.m. In other action around the league, Portland hosts Chivas in midweek action, while Columbus and Seattle square off in a Saturday matinee. Later that night, Toronto and San Jose face off for the first time since swapping four players, and Sporting play host to Dallas. That's all for Week 23 of the MLS Review Show. As we push for the playoffs, remember to visit MLSsoccer.com for full coverage of all the news in Major League Soccer.